Hello everyone, my name is Yang Nong. I'm the VP of product at Catalan. Today, I'm very excited to share with you guys the topic, a universal approach for building a successful automation testing framework. So here the, the agenda for my presentation today. Firstly, I will share the importance of an automation testing framework. Secondly, we we'll share you guys an approach to build a framework beyond any open source tool. Next, we provide some of the man managerial suggestions when building or deploy automation testing framework. Next, our case study with Catalan Studio. And finally, we share some of the beauty that we recognize when building tool based on open source solution. Firstly, let's take a look at automation testing lifecycle. In the beginning, we need to do a need analysis to make sure that automation testing is what we need. Then we do a return on investment analysis to make sure that we have more benefit than the cost we need to pay. Next, we do a tool analysis to make sure that we have the correct tool to deal with all the need that we have when doing automation testing. After passing the POC, we go to the solution design step. So this is the high level uh, task. After that, we go to a more detailed task, such as business knowledge gathering, test scripting, test execution, test result analysis, and maintenance. So let's take a look at the tool analysis step. So this is the point that we start building our automation testing framework. So if you adapt a commercial tool, it might provide the whole framework for you already, but it will be the lack of customization in what we need to bear with. Uh, but if you uh, decide to leverage open source tool, we have everything we need to customize the solution to really fit on our need. But then we really hope that we make it right because the automation framework will affect the effectiveness, efficiencies of all the latest stage. So that test scripting, execution, result analysis, or especially maintenance. If we do something wrong in the automation framework, all the activity of the team will be affected. And especially the maintenance step that I said already, because the effort for maintenance will become bigger and bigger over time. The vision of the framework also determine how long we can carry on the solution with our project and affect heavily to the final return on investment of the solution. So if you only have like 20 or 50 test cases, actually it doesn't matter much, but when you have hundred or thousand of tests, you will see how the automation framework play their role at that time. So if you don't have a good automation framework in the beginning, you might end up with explosive maintenance efforts would eventually stop doing automation testing because it no longer uh, meet your need when you're uh, to, to meet your delivery need or you need to do it all over again with a new framework. So given that importance of the framework, we, we will introduce to you guys an approach that we have after 10 years experience in this domain and based on that approach, we uh, build the framework. And the beautiful thing is that you can work on it based on any open source tool. The way that we, we have the approach is to build uh, the framework layer by layer. Firstly, we have a community layer. Then we have a layer so-called community customizer. And then test library layer, test controller, and fin finally test script. For community layer, this is the, the time that we you need to pick um, the strong open source community that you can realize on later. So it can be uh, the community of programming language, such as, such as Java, .NET, Python, or JavaScript, or the community of the core execution engine like Selenium, Appium, and Puppeteer. Next, in the community customizer, it is the time for you 
to build the layer on top of the community like a wrapper. This purpose is to hide all the complexity of the community layer and provide the flexibility uh, to adapt when the community layer changes. This is also uh, the layer that you need to build on the core, the basic activity of automation testing, so, so that you build web handler to handle all the control of the browser. You have common keyword to, to deal with all the interaction with the browser. You have error handler to handle, to make sure that you can manage exception or error. You have execution and report engine to, to control the execution mechanism and retrieve the execution result. Next, in the test library layer, you, you need to build the utility. This is for support on the te testing activity uh, throughout uh, your project. Then you need to build a common function to, re to be reused across project and also provide some crucial uh, capability should the test data or modularization depend on the unit of your project. So this layer, the purpose of this layer to the enhance the productivity of the whole uh, testing project and also provide core functions beyond the need. Next is the test controller layer. This is the layer that you have the control of uh, the testing flow so that you have set up a uh, tier down uh, capability. You will have um, to control the environment, the execution environment, such as uh, development, staging, or production. And then you build the, the way um, to control the product versioning in, in case that you need to test your project uh, with multiple versions at a time. And also the configuration to run your test as well. For the test script layer, this is the, the layer that um, the tech, uh, automation tester will, will use uh, to, to do scripting. So one crucial point here, the unit to make your script really abstract from the technical details and be more business friendly. So with just way, your test script will be very easy to consume by any people, even without uh, programming skill. And also assure that your script will be very easy to maintain and it don't touch any technical aspect. So building the, uh, with this approach to build your automation framework from layer to layer, you can increase your chance to have a good automation framework can help you uh, sustain for, uh, for, for years and can help you handle thousand of tasking. So this is some suggestion from the managerial standpoint of us when building and deploying the framework. Firstly, uh, this is the key role in an automation testing project that we suggest you should have, the automation architectures, the automation prime, then automation tester. So the automation um, prime uh, can be um, based on the feature sets or based on the automation testing um, regression or new test you you have to split them into different groups. So when you deploy uh, or build the automation uh, testing framework, the automation architect should be the guy who pick the community, will be the guy who should work on the community customizer and also uh, the utility you have for your automation uh, project. So this is the core part of the automation. Next, you have the automation prime to take care of the common functions in your project, to take care of uh, control that the testing flow, also take care of the environment of uh, such as uh, staging, production, or development, and also uh, control the product versioning. Lastly, you have the automation tester. So this is the guy who work on uh, the script and a little bit on the test controller. So with uh, such con, uh, con, I mean, uh, distribution approach, uh, we believe that uh, firstly, we can utilize uh, the skill set of it, uh, people at its max. 
Uh, secondly, when we have uh, run separate on the things that they need to work on, we make sure that people uh, with, uh, I mean, enough skill set to touch on the core of the automation platform. So the automation tester work on the script only. If they need to update something in the utility or in the flow, they need to work with the prime uh, or with the architect. This is to make sure your uh, project will be uh, main, will be at the highest level of maintainability. Then uh, we want to show with you guys our case study with Catalog Studio. But firstly, let me uh, quickly introduce Catalog uh, Studio and Catalog Studio at the whole. So, uh, so at Catalog, we not only have Catalog Studio at uh, the test scripting tool, we also have other tools that have covered different aspects in the content testing uh, platform. We also have Catalog Recorder and uh, Catalium, also script generator for people with different testing uh, programming skill or uh, I mean uh, testing approach uh, flavor. We also have Catalan test up, which is uh, a central play to control on uh, the continued testing activity. Also a play to show you the report from the inside uh, for the quality of your product and help you easier to, to make your decision. With Catalan, we aim to cover a full set of end environment. Not only for web testing, we also have like mobile testing, API testing, desktop testing, and we also working on other ad environment that we will introduce to you uh, in uh, the next month. In Catalan, what makes me feel very happy because is we also provide uh, the platform for Linux. The reason is for many people, they familiar with Linux when they need to work on other tool, but can only install on Windows or, or Mac, they need to switch the environment. So with such way, we believe that we can help company to utilize their resource and their bad and without changing any behavior or anything that they are familiar with. We catalog, we provide uh, the, the way to test on the latest um, version of Android, iOS, and on the popular browser. Last but not least, our solution available on cloud provider such as Docker, Azure DevOps, or Amazon uh, Web Service. So this is the foundation for, for Catalan to bring automation testing to cloud, which is very important at this time. Because right now, not many people can go to, uh, to work at normal. They need to work at home or some other places with Catalan and uh, automation testing on cloud, you can access to your project, you can work on your project anywhere, anytime. So this is the Catalan Studio under the framework view. For the community in Catalan, we pick Java Groovy as the programming language. We have Selenium, Appium, WinApp Driver at the core execution engine. So with just programming language uh, and, and execution engine, we have supported from many people because the community we based on is a, one of the biggest community. So we have many people who uh, join into a, a forum and have people dealing with a lot of a problem. Even those we don't have, I, I mean, we not can be available anytime. So for community customizer with Catalan, we build a Catalan Studio framework to cover and wrap all the uh, aspect uh, behind. We also have an IDE. So actually, this customizer is for people who are not familiar with programming or not familiar with um, uh, automation testing. So we aim to have on people, uh, no matter the, their skill set is, and we aim to transfer them from manual to automation testing as well. And with Catalan uh, Customizer, we have a set reset of building keyword. So people can utilize our keyword to build their script and they don't need to uh, touch on the below level to build any more things to work with Studio. But then we open for that capability. In the test library, we have a utility like spying, recording, or debug. 
this is uh, help uh, people to generate tests very fast and also uh, help people without programming skill can uh, create test script. So we have uh, the capability to connect with test data to provide data testing uh, driven ability, pay object model and other approach. We have uh, uh, self healing features which help people to automatically correct the object lo locator up and fail. So such features uh, help people to improve their productivity a lot. In the test controller in Catalan Studio, we have profile to help people to manage their environment. We have uh, testing flow with setup and tiered out already for them to control uh, the testing flow. We have the execution configuration, parallel executions with uh, setup that tests to run with different end environment. We have the capability to integrate with Git, which means that it provides um, the way for people to manage, uh, to test the product with different version. For the test script, we provide a dual script interface. So we have with dual script interface, firstly, we have the manual uh, view. In the manual view, we display tests in a business friendly way. So people can read the test and then understand uh, the business behind without knowing the script. We also provide the script view for people familiar with scripting and the two view is interchangeable. So we're the only product that can uh, do that job because we believe that all people should be able to do automation testing and we gradually, we also want to transform the manual tester to automation testing uh, with the scripting capability as well. So with the uh, product that we have uh, based on the open source uh, tool that I've just shared with you, this is the beauty uh, that we know when uh, work on our product. So you know already when you adapt an open source tool with many people use, you will be easily uh, supported by, by the community. You can will be very easy to have people that work for you to develop your solution. And this is the result that we have uh, from Catalan Studio that we build based on open source tool. So after like three years in the market, we, we have been adopted by more than 65,000 companies with roughly more than 500,000 people in, six, uh, in 160 countries. The test number of tests that people have built has uh, almost 3 million test case, and they run the test for uh, almost like 90 million test run. So let's say that our top um, client or user, they can have thousands of tests in Catalan Studio and they can still manage that and they can uh, carry along with their, pro their project for four or five years. We have good ratings on Gagner, Capture, g 2 Crowd, and UTest. We also reflect how the community support us until now. Okay, so I have go through uh, our approach in building the automation testing framework beyond open source tool. So we hope that it can give you some idea to start uh, with your automation um, framework. And, and moreover, we provide Catalan at a product that we have based on the approach. And I think you can take a look at that and gain more idea uh, about how to uh, build the framework. And also you can totally leverage Catalan Studio and again at a free open source tool to develop your work. So we hope that um, you find this presentation helpful and I'm very happy to hear uh, have questions from you. Thank you.